look at the body and the curls. Like you just, it's, I'm obsessed, like for real. Don't make me get you back. I say bounce that shit like whoa. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be installing this 13 by 4 Body Wave Lace Frontal Wig by Tanache Hair. I'm not going to be doing a ball cap method for this look today. I'm just going to simply use a stocking cap and I'm just placing some alcohol on my skin so that the spray and the gel that I'm using today will adhere better to my skin. So this is a Swiss lace. It's not HD, I don't believe, um, which is actually not my favorite type of lace, but somehow I actually got this to actually blend really good with my skin tone. Y'all gonna see. Um, but right here, I'm just cutting off the ear tabs. I'm just tracing a little part around my ear and then I'm just using my scissors and I'm gliding the scissors through the part and I'm just tracing around my ear and cutting that part off so that my ears are not covered whenever I install this wig. <laughs> And then I'm going to take my olive oil wig group gel. I use this gel every single time I install my frontals. It just works for me. I'm not putting a glue on my head. I'm just not doing it. So the gel is just perfect. And I just use a popsicle stick to apply it to my skin. I do a thin layer. I don't do too much because if you do too much, it's going to create like a white. And like it's just not going to be, it's not going to be cute. So I just don't do too much. A nice thin layer. And then I blow dry that on a warm setting. And I get it a little bit tacky enough so that the lace will adhere into that gel but not too wet but not too dry either like kind of medium and then I just place it into that gel and I'm just using my finger to press it out and then I also use this comb And then I take the blow dryer on a cool setting, y'all. Now I'm doing cool, and then I'm just using that to make it completely dry. If you do warm, it's gonna turn out white, and we do not want no white. It's gonna leave like a like a a white crust, and it's not cute either. <laughs> so I just blow dry on a cool setting, and then I go ahead and I do the other side. So after I do the other side, I'm just going to cut like two slits on each side so that it makes it easier to cut the lace off. And when I cut my lace off, I like to use a eyebrow razor. I get these from the beauty supply store. They be like a dollar a piece, I want to say, but they are perfect for cutting off your lace. I don't ever use scissors to cut it off. I just think that the eyebrow razor creates like a nice cut without it being too straight across. So I'm just cutting that off and getting as close to the hairline of the wig as possible. This is actually probably the hardest step of a wig install for me. I don't know why, but it be just so hard to get it close to the hairline and seeing what you're doing. I don't know. So then I'm just pulling out some baby hairs. I'm only going to do like this baby hair on the part right here on the side. And I'm also going to do a sideburn baby hair. Um, just something really simple. And then I'm going to take my Eben Wonder Lace Lace Bun Adhesive Spray. That was a tongue twister. And I'm just going to spray this all along my hairline. I normally use this for my closures, but I just think that it holds a really good hold for my closure. So I actually like to do it for my frontals now as well. Um, and I'm just going to tie this all together with an elastic band that I got from Amazon. And y'all know I love a good flat wig. This is actually my favorite part of a wig install is making it super flat and just, it just look like it's coming out of my own head. So I'm taking my She Is Bomb Wax Stick and I am just doing like, I do, I'm doing it in sections. So I'm putting it on one section and I put the, um, the wax stick and then I use my hot comb that is an Andes hot comb on the hottest setting. And I just go over it with the hot comb. Y'all, this can get really hot. 
<laughs> and I actually kind of burnt myself a little bit because it was so doggone hot. So definitely be careful with the hot comb because the burns is real, sis. To create a good flat foundation wig as well, you want to make sure that your braids underneath are flat or if you're not going to do braids, you want to make sure that your hair is really sleek back because you can hot comb that wig as much as you want to. But if them braids is bulky underneath or if that, your hair is bulky underneath, girl, your wig is going to be bulky too. So keep that in mind whenever you are installing a wig. And y'all don't talk sh about my elastic band. I know I need another one. It's real dirty, but <laughs> we gonna we gonna figure that out. I'm gonna get me a new one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> then I'm gonna take my olive oil super hot fix it spray, and I'm just spraying this. And then I'm using this hot comb. I actually saw Eric and Tay do this, and he just be having his wig so sleek and flat and just on point. So I decided to like mimic it a little bit. I actually think he used got to be, but I used the olive oil super hot fix it spray. It's just a little bit softer. And then I'm cutting off these baby hairs with my eyebrow razor as well. And I decided I wanted to do a curls in this wig today. So I actually blow dried this wig. Um, I normally never blow dry my wigs, but when it comes to curls, I actually try to blow dry because it just makes the curls a lot just better. And they actually make the curls last longer as well. So I'm actually using a flat iron first to get it nice and straight at the top. And then I'm using this one inch curling iron. I believe this is a Conair Infinity curling iron. And I'm just curling away from my face to create these nice, pretty, y'all. These curls was just so freaking pretty. Y'all, this color was actually so pretty. I'm not even gonna lie. This color actually might be my new favorite. At first, when I received it, I was like, this might be, like, not, like, my best color because it is brown, you know, I'm brown. So, I thought that it was going to be, like, a little bit too close to my skin tone, which is really not. But I thought it was just not going to, like, flow all together. But, girl, girl, this was on point. This color was everything. And this is definitely a color that I'm going to keep in my wig collection. As far as the curls, these curls actually didn't last as long for me as I would have preferred. But I really think it's because I didn't layer the hair. I think that layering is actually so important. And I actually realized that today, layering is so important when it comes to like curling your hair. Like if you really want to hold a nice curl. I think that's why my last video, my curls lasted so long because I actually did layer it. So that's definitely a step you don't want to skip if you plan on curling your hair often. Um, now, if you have a wig that you plan on keeping straight and curling out, I actually don't recommend layering it, but that's why I have so many wigs, so that some wigs I have specifically for curling, and then some wigs I have specifically to keep straight. Look at these curls y'all they came out so perfect like they were just so pretty like oh my gosh um so then i'm just gonna go and repeat the same steps on the other side um i actually did that side off camera because it was so hard to record that side but i'm just using my flat iron and then i'm taking my curling iron and i am curling away from my face So I just decided to layer the little bang parts. I'm taking my hair cutting comb and I just cut it kind of at a slant to angle just a little bit. I didn't do too much, but I just wanted this little, little layer look right there at the top. And it turned out bomb, like it was perfect. So now I'm going to take my pencil flat iron. I got this um, flat iron from Amazon and I'm just going to curl downward on the baby hairs on both of them. And then I'm going to take my got to be my got to be spray. Um, I saw Eric and Tay use the got to be spray. So I tried it out. It's definitely not my favorite. Um, so I actually ended up switching to gel and just doing it with mousse. Like I kind of just be using a mixture of everything to do my baby hairs. I kind of go in with a spray and then I use the gel and then I use mousse just to get it how I want it to look like. I don't know. <laughs> And I ended up going in with a tweezer a little bit to tweeze out some of the baby hairs to kind of thin it out a little bit because it was a little bit too thick. Um, so yeah. So 
So then I'm going to take my makeup. This is Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coconut. And I'm also taking this little fluffy brush. And I'm just adding some of that onto the lace. Y'all see how that literally just... All it needed was some makeup and it just blended so perfectly. I was really scared about this lace at first because HD is actually my favorite and this isn't a HD lace. But it ended up working out and I ended up getting it to blend. So then I'm going to take my, some of my Icy Fantasia hair polisher and I'm just adding this just to add a little shine to the hair and make it look super clean and just neat. Y'all, this is my favorite install. I don't care. I think that this is definitely, hands down, one of my favorite installs. This color, I did not even think I was going to like this color on me. Like, I don't know. I thought it was going to be, like, too, like, muted, like, to my skin tone because it's brown. I'm brown. But this is low-key a vibe. Like, this hair color is so freaking pretty, y'all. Love the side part. These curls came out bomb. My favorite install. This install actually also took me a lot longer than my normal installs. I think it's because I really took my time and I was, like, just listening to my music vibing to my music and i took my time but if you are trying to perfect your wigs take your time like don't rush the process like even if it takes you like three hours because i think this took me like almost two hours to do um but the results are 10 times better y'all i'm actually like i love this install so freaking much like oh my gosh um, if you guys are interested in purchasing this wig this is tanache hair and this is a i want to say 180 percent density and this is um 26 inches all the information will be linked in the description box down below look at the body and the curls like you just it's, i'm obsessed like for real if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also turn your post notifications so you can be notified anytime your post a video and yeah i'll definitely catch you guys in my next one